Paradigm Challenge is a chance for youth to change the world, win up to $100,000, and maybe even help get into a great college. The top three teams will also win a trip to Los Angeles to attend the Paradigm Challenge Awards Ceremony and collect their cash rewards. What would you and your friends do with $100,000? Let's learn how to change the world. Teenage inventor Alexis Lewis thinks that kids have the solutions to the world's problems. Growing up, my grandfather was a tremendous influence on my fascination with the world around me and with innovation. He was a rocket scientist for the Apollo programs, and he was just innately curious about how everything worked. I think he sort of passed that curiosity on to me. I got started inventing when I was about seven. My mom would always read to the family about various world issues. During the Somali famine of 2011, many, many parents and their children fled their homes and walked weeks to refugee centers. Unfortunately, many of the children were uh, left by the roadsides to die due to the fact that their parents simply couldn't carry them all that way. If you gave them some way to carry those children, you might be able to save those kids. The Native American Plains Indians used a device called a travois. And the travois seemed to me to be a perfect solution to this problem. After about seven months of prototyping, I designed a travois made almost entirely out of bamboo and other materials that could be very easily procured in Africa. I found an amazing competition, the ePals Smithsonian Invented Challenge. Lexi went ahead and entered with her travois, and she won for her age category, and she won an all-expense-paid patent application. And now she has a patent. The next problem I decided to tackle was that about half of house fire deaths are due to smoke inhalation alone. When you have people trapped on the second stories of burning buildings, a lot of the time you have first responders waiting down below completely unable to help. A smoke mask can keep out the smoke, but the problem is there is no way to get it up there. The emergency mask pod is basically a two-part football canister, which holds a smoke mask, a pair of goggles, and a little light-emitting device, just to increase visibility in a smoky environment. Designing the EM pod was most definitely a process of trial and error. I ended up working with the local fire departments to have firefighters test the accuracy of the various prototypes to figure out which one was best and if it was a feasible idea for actually deploying in the field. With the aid of a 3D printer, I was able to go from a concept to a very, very real object in a matter of a couple hours. I think that's their passion, is to find the problem in our society and in our communities, not only locally, but across the world. And, you know, apply some common sense and some hard thinking and some science to that to find a solution that works. This specific prototype, and then there were another, several varieties of um, various different Today we're in Spark Lab, which is part of the Smithsonian's Lemelson Center for the Study of Invention and Innovation. Age 12, Alexis. I think it's really great to have Alexis featured here. You know, this is a place where we really see mostly kids ages 6 to 12. <laughs> so I think that being able to see somebody that looks like them is really empowering for our visitors. I'm really excited to see my invention featured here. Now I'm hoping that when kids come through the Spark Lab, they'll see that kids can invent and hopefully they'll do the same. This gives me two millimeters of clearance on each side. It's vitally important to create opportunities for young people to invent. So on a local level, I'm trying to spread the message that inventing is something that's simple, human, something that kids can do by teaching workshops. Oh, see how that's 9.90? Uh, mm -hmm. okay. 
on a larger level, I'm trying to tell kids across the country that they can invent by promoting a middle school elective called Inventing 101, which would hopefully spur on that innovative spirit. How it be hard to print? Um, okay. I'm hoping that I can do for others what my grandfather did for me pass on the invention and innovation bug and to inspire the next generation to have a fascination with the world around them and to understand that they are capable of changing it. Now it's your turn. How many of you are inventors? Raise your hands. Not many of you raised your hands. Is that because you think inventing is reserved for geniuses like Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb? Or Alexander Graham Bell, who invented the telephone? Inventing is as simple as finding a problem. You know, something that bugs you. Then finding the solution to that problem. That solution is an invention. You solve problems every day. So that proves you have what it takes to be an inventor. I'm here to show you that inventing is something that you, me, everyone can do. Hey, I have an idea. Do you like popsicles? Well, the popsicle was invented by an 11-year-old. What about trampolines? A 16-year-old invented them. And here's a simple one, earmuffs, to keep your ears warm when you go out in the cold. They were invented by a 15-year-old. You see, it's about problem solving. Young Chester Greenwood's ears were cold when he went outside. So he did some brainstorming and problem solving and came up with the idea of earmuffs. Great idea. Now it's your turn to practice problem solving. Here's the problem. There are lots of pets that need homes. Dogs, cats, bunnies, and many other types of animals. How can we solve this problem? Please work together to think of some possible ways that we can help animals who need homes. So, how did it go? I bet you came up with a lot of good solutions. See, you are problem solvers. You are the inventors of solutions to problems. Now, here's a video that shows the six simple steps for problem solving. As you watch the video, look for things that you did or didn't do as you were trying to solve the problem for pets who need homes. Let's learn how to change the world. For example, how can we help pets who need homes? Let's solve this. Step 1. Study the problem of pets who need homes. Step 2. Observe what others are doing to help animals find homes. Step 3. List all imaginable ideas. During this brainstorming step, even pigs can fly. Step 4. Visualize each idea and how it might help pets find homes. Step 5. Engage others for further input on the most promising ideas. Step 6. Decide which idea is best. This group decided to invite local shelters, rescue groups, and families to a Community Adoption Day event. A free outdoor festival is a fun way to meet a wide variety of adoptable animals. And it works. With these six steps, you can solve any challenge. Are you ready to change the world? Now you know how to solve problems, and now you can solve a problem that affects all of us. 
My name is Emma Spencer. My name is Scott Johnson. We were looking for ways to earn money for college and we saw the Paradigm Challenge. We researched the challenge and came up with a simple invention and solution to solve the problem. We invite you to use science, technology, engineering, math, plus kindness, creativity, and collaboration. You could come up with ideas like videos, inventions, posters, public messages, community events, websites, mobile apps, or anything else you can think of. Anywhere around the world, you can enter the Paradigm Challenge from 4 to 18, and you can make a difference. I'm Shabanchi. I'm Hidanchi. I'm Om. I'm Tosi. So our team is from two different countries, and we're from India. And we're from, from New, New Zealand. Zealand. We use technology to create a new invention that would help people in emergencies. Even little kids can make a big difference in the world. I'm Jacob. I'm Julia. And I'm Joey. Well, we won our age division in the Paradigm Challenge. My favorite part of the challenge is how you have to work together. Like, you can use your siblings like these two. Hi, I'm Katie. And I'm Paige. And we use kindness, creativity, and collaboration to make a difference in the world. And guess what? We won first place in the Paradigm Challenge and a fun trip to Los Angeles. Hi, my name is Kadar, and I won first place in the Paradigm Challenge. Talk with your parents and friends and join the Paradigm Challenge. You have until May 1st to submit your idea and change the world. Say hello to Kate. She is super excited. She just heard about a cool opportunity to team up with her friends to change the world win $100,000, and maybe even help get into a great college. Earlier that day, Kate and her friends learned that everyone, even students, can solve real-world problems. Students have multiple opportunities to help each other and our planet. Youth around the world are challenged to join. Kate's parents think this is a great idea and help Kate register for the Paradigm Challenge. Kate is thrilled. She immediately builds her team, the Paradigm Challengers. The Paradigm Challengers start by watching the official video on how to solve problems and change the world. They study the problem and observe what others are doing to help. They list possible ideas to solve the problem. After visualizing all of their ideas and engaging with other people, they submit the most effective idea to the Paradigm Challenge and the Paradigm Challengers make it to the finals. Uh, so wait, what happened? Well, the Paradigm Challengers changed the world and won the grand prize. The team flew to Los Angeles to collect their $100,000 reward and attend the Paradigm Challenge award ceremony. What would you and your friends do with $100,000? Are you ready for the challenge? Get together with your friends, learn about the problems, and then use the six problem-solving steps you saw in the video to come up with a solution to one or more of the problems. You use the same process to find homes for pets. If you're thinking that only adults can figure out solutions to these problems, then you haven't been listening. Human beings are born problem solvers. The ability to solve problems is already yours. You don't have to wait until you've graduated from high school or college to be able to solve problems. You have that ability right now. Just find a problem and follow the six problem-solving steps. The top three teams in each age group can win up to $5,000, and the grand prize winner can win up to $100,000. I know you can put together a winning team. Realize that coming up with a solution might not happen overnight. Learn about the problem and brainstorm. It might take you and your team several weeks to come up with a solution, but I know you will. Remember, you were born with the ability to problem solve, to invent. You can do this, I know you can.